everybody. Thank you very much for participating in my second webinar. Uh, this video is uh, about um, low tech medical programming, just like the first one. <laughs> I have a course of 10 videos and 10 webinars for you. And uh, today I will continue sharing information about how using technology sensors and electronic boards you can make your life more efficient, healthier, and how we can get medical data about your body and uh, environmental parameters. So today we'll tell you about the sensors of microbeat and how to work with accelerometer and how to get medical data from this sensor. So I will share with you my screen and um, I will show my presentation that I prepared for you. I hope you will enjoy it. So here it is, uh, my presentation. So it's a course about low tech medical programming. I'm a biomedical engineer, Diana, and I'm very happy to share with you the information that I find uh, really interesting and really helping. And today I will, um, I will share you the information. It's my second webinar and uh, we will continue exploring microbeat and what we can do with it. So here is a learning plan and um, what we actually learn during the webinars. And right now we're on the second webinar. Uh, so he here I will tell you about the about microbeat, its sensors, and how to work with accelerometer. And here are other um, discussions, other topics that I would like to tell you about. So here is the microbit. I will show you again. Oh, I will just uh, move my picture a little bit up. So uh, here's microbit. It's with me. So this is a mini computer. I told more about uh, what it consists of uh, during my previous, my first video. I will uh, share the link uh, in the description for this video if you want to check and uh, uh, be free to write me a comment. If you have any questions, you can contact me and I will help. So uh, here I just um, re I just uh, refresh information about how microbit look like and uh, which sensors we're going to use today. So today we will use uh, the sound sensor that you can see on the front uh, display. Uh, this is a new model of microbit like microbit this device it has two versions first and second one and first version didn't have this sensor it didn't have a microphone on it uh this version has and this is good news because um as uh, i also was mentioning in the first um webinar uh it's very important the the sound level that we uh that we have every day like during the work or during our sleep and uh for those people who work with the loud music it's important to see what is the level of this music because it affects our ears it affects our productivity um so with right now having this sensor on microbit we can actually get this data and uh to understand whether the sound level is uh is not uh, over the limits uh, for our health. There is also a processor on the back side of microbit. So, sorry, uh, here and um, here it is. And uh, uh, how microbit actually get temperature values. So it doesn't have a specific temperature sensor, but it takes uh, temperature from the processors. So while microbit is working or when it's just turned on it has temperature of its processor and the more it's working the more temperature rising so it's uh the temperature is not so much precise because it doesn't have precise sensor on its board but still we can have uh, approximate temperature of the air uh and we can use it and uh, there is also another sensor accelerometer this is the sensor which uh, uh, I will talk a lot about uh, during this video. Uh, we can use uh, the, the data from this sensor for many interesting subjects and I will tell you more what it is. So the first program that we, we will start from the beginning like uh, from the uh, to, to work on practical things on practical projects and the first program is to create a mini station during my first video we created a uh, first program 
uh, to get temperature from microbit and to display it on the uh, matrix of lead. Uh, and during, I will show you how to make a code to make a program for a mini station so that we can collect the data, not just about the temperature, but also about uh, luminosity and uh, sound, uh, sound level. So how we're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna need uh, microbit, which I have here. We will need a USB cable to connect microbit to the computer. And we need a computer. We need a computer to write a code and then to transfer via USB cable on microbit this code. And how to write uh, a code, how to write a code to get these values. So to write a code, we will need to use um, uh, whether MicroPython, the language uh, with which we will write uh, specific uh, lines of code to get the data, or we can use uh, just blocks. It's another technology, like uh, it's uh, like the pieces, like like uh, some elements that contain lines of uh, code that are specifically used for particular purpose. I will tell you all about this. Don't worry, it's not so complicated. <laughs> so here, here it is. That's how it looks like. It's, um, uh, I think it's Megbit, uh, the online platform to program Microbit. And uh, that's how the code looked like. Previously, I was using uh, the code on uh, Vitasian's online platform. I will show you how different platforms work, what are their uh, advantages, disadvantages, and you can choose what you can uh, use to program your microbit. So here we can see that uh, there are some blocks. I used it. Uh, I used block technology to show you uh, more precisely what I made. So uh, you can see that I used uh, under forever under the block forever, which is. Uh, uh, cycle of repetition um, that I use the, the, the pink uh, pink blocks which actually represent getting the, the data from the sensors and blue ones it's just about representation so like uh, we present a T letter on the display just to show that we are about to show temperature the value of temperature then we make a post to separate this these uh, uh, representations on the LED display. And then we show the temperature, then we show L um, to represent luminosity. Then there is another pause, and then we present uh, the value, show number, light level. So we present the value from, uh, from the light sensor, luminosity. And uh, we also show uh, sound level, but without uh, any letter for it. So I will show you more precisely the code. Uh, this is the code to program a um, mini station. And the first, uh, the first three, um, the first three lines they are about sound uh, measurement, and <clears throat> the first line correspond to just it tells MicroPython that we need to get um, everything to work with the sound detection. The second line it's. Uh, about that we we need to display the the value for about the sound level uh, on the display using matrix uh, lead matrix that we have here, um, and then we add the pulse just to separate uh, the value that we have the value of luminosity and uh, the further value like uh, about uh, temperature and. Uh, um, luminosity. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, the first one is the sound. Uh, sorry. Yes, uh, the first one we get the sound measurement, then we get the temperature and then luminosity. So uh, first we see the value of the sound level. Then we see the temperature level, uh, temperature value. And uh, after we get the letter T on the display, uh, how it works, I was uh, telling you in the first video, but I will repeat again. So there is a matrix. We can uh, see that there's 25 uh, sweat, uh, diets, uh, 25 LEDs that we can use to display any information on microbit. And uh, so we use, uh, when we code, we need to go, when we code any image, we use the letters nine and zero to to explain like which LEDs we want to be turned on and which one we want to turn off. So when we want to put on the display 
uh, the letter T. So T starts with the line like of all the LEDs turned on. As we can see, uh, I, I prepared the video for you. We will see how it works in real life. But a T, so the first, the highest line, the, the top one, it's all LEDs turned on. And that's why in the code we see all nine, there is uh, nine, 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 nine. That's the first line. Then we go more lower and we have the T start like the middle part starts. And so we have zero, zero, nine, zero, zero. Then we have zero, zero, nine, zero, nine. Why it is like that? Because we have two dots after T and that's the one that we have, the, the last nine that we that appears, uh, that's the highest dot that we have on this image. Um, so that's how the image is constructed. Uh, there are five lines to make a T with two dots. And uh, then we have uh, a line input temperature, which uh, literally display a value of temperature on the screen. And uh, then we make a pause. Then we go to the representation of luminosity level. And we build um, L letter with uh, two dots just to, to make a symbol of luminosity. And uh, so you can see that there is nine, zero, 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 zero. So we start from the left corner, the, the letter L building of this image. Um, and it goes literally like uh, until the third line when the highest double dot appear. And uh, then we have the, the lowest line, the, the last line, it's 99909 because it's the lowest level like L is ending. This is the li line of L. Uh, then there is a space and the, the, the dot, the double dot ends as well. Then we add a pulse and uh, then we just show the value of uh, luminosity using uh, value from uh, light sensor. So that's how the code work. And if you have any question, please write me a comment or contact me. So how it works? I hope the, the video should start now. I hope it will start. I prepared the video uh, how my microbit is working. So we have a T uh, that shows uh, we have uh, L luminosity level and we have also a sound level. So eventually like uh, when, uh, when uh, the symbol of microphone is turned on, um, if, if there is a light, it means that uh, the sound level is working. It's getting, uh, it's checking the data. So what is accelerometer and how we can uh, work with it? We already worked with the sound sensor, we work with temperature sensor, we work with uh, uh, level, uh, light level sensor, uh, light sensor, and uh, how, uh, what, what else we can do with this uh, mini computer, what we can use it for? Like we already can get the data while we're working like uh, to, to see what we can correct, like to increase, decrease temperature or to turn on the light so that it's better for our eyes um, or to check the sound level, to decrease the music, to stay more efficient while we're working. So, but there is a very important sensor on this board, uh, accelerometer. And it's used for many things, including like uh, everybody has a phone, and each phone has accelerometer inside. How it's used, uh, like uh, what it is, uh, this, this word accelerometer. So technically, like for example, when you're watching video on YouTube and you turn your phone in horizontal position from, from vertical to horizontal, the screen will change the, the, the placement of the elements horizontally. And it happens because accelerometer inside tells uh, the phone that uh, the position of the phone changed. The position according to three axis, 3D position changed. And for us, we need to change. So the screen is changing so that it's more uh, comfortable for us to read uh, in horizontal way when the phone is turned horizontally. So this is just one example of the usage. And accelerometer is one of the most used building sensors in microbead or uh, just in our phone. It's in every phone. And it allows uh, you to measure the direction, the strength of the fourth, such as uh, gravity uh, exerted uh, on the microbead. Like this is just for example. 
uh, I will tell you how we can use what is the medical application for this sensor. So we can actually recognize uh, different gestures such as shaking. This is very important one, like uh, that's what we use actually to check the number of steps. Many people have uh, smart watches that uh, check how many steps you do per day. <clears throat> and that's how they work. They actually check how many times it's shaken and it's taken shaken as a number of steps. Uh, we, we will do our own step counter uh, later during this video. Uh, what else we can check? We can check um, whether the person fell or uh, if the motion changed. Or uh, we can uh, check uh, the movement acceleration measurement, how the acceleration changed. Uh, we can also recognize uh, different types of movement, uh, such as walking. Like we can see whether the person is walking or it's running. Uh, and if it's walking, then whether it's uh, whether the person is accelerating or actually it's slowing down. Uh, we can also build online graphs uh, and uh, measure the slightest change along three axes. So it's quite uh, impressive, huh? So we can use it even for like, for example, for physical training, like you can just check your movements in the beginning when you start physical training, like, I don't know, for example, uh, uh, running, and then you can choose how fast you're accelerating, how you're moving, and how also easy it is for you to change your speed, to change your velocity. Uh, so it's very exciting, and a lot of projects can be done with this sensor. So I will show you how movement uh, measuring look like using the Megbeat uh, online platform. So I prepared the program. It will start now. <laughs> Sorry for a little pause. It's about the internet connection. So I prepared a, a program to get measurement from three axes. And when we move micro bit, when just this, this device is moving and it's in your pocket or it's in your hand, you can see how uh, it's moving with you. So it's, it's um, getting the values uh, of the change of your direction of your speed and uh, the speed we can recognize by how many peaks we have, so how fast it's changing, uh, the shaking. So uh, that's how it looks, that's how it's working. And now we will go to the projects. The first project, it's a full measurement program. Like I'm sure some of us have uh, old relatives, like even uh, I had a grandma who was fallen many times because old people, they have very weak, weak uh, bones with uh, not so much calcium and they also have a problem with movement. Um, it's much harder when you're old. Um, so uh, you actually can help your relatives by giving them microbeat with this program and uh, it will tell you if um, they need your help. <clears throat> we can also later, later will tell you how to send the data from microbeat to your phone. So you can have a program that will you will directly get notification on your phone if uh, actually you, you need to help. So how exactly this program is working? We have this device microbit. So if we say that the height, this is uh, the axis Y, this means that when, so when the person is fallen, the Y parameter will decrease. And if the person is standing, the Y parameter will stay high. So approximately for microbit, the high parameter of uh, along Y axis is 500. And um, we see that if it's reducing, if it's uh, less than 500, then most probably a person fell. And if the, uh, the parameter is higher than 500, then the person is standing. So I wrote uh, a code, uh, the first line of the code, uh, basic forever function. So this is just a cycle of repetition. We uh, add the cycle that will tell us for numerous time nonstop uh, the data from microbit. So um, we put two conditions. The first condition is a condition of standing. So if accelerator on the input, so if it gets the data that along the dimension Y, so this axis, the height is higher than 500. This means that it will show uh, with LEDs the 
image of standing person. That's just the, the image that we build if uh, the, the value is higher than 500. So on the display here, there will be an image of standing person. So everything is fine. The person didn't fall, most probably. Uh, and uh, then we also uh, add the condition of falling. Um, like we add else, which correspond to any other case. So if the value of accelerometer is less than 500, so it's not, uh, the first condition is more than 500. The second condition else is for less than 500. Why we don't write less than 500? Because else mean any other way. So if in the first condition we took all other parameters which are higher than 500, then else will mean all parameters that are less than 500. We don't need to write it. We can just write else. And we write a basic show let. So we just write that um, if it's else, then the image here will be just a simple strict line, which we have. So the first line, zero, 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 zero. The second line as well. And the third line, it's nine 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 nine. So we just have a middle line showing kind of like line person, the falling. So I will show you how it looks like here. So this is the code um, that's that I made with blocks, and uh, that's how it will look if uh, the person fell. So if the height changed, then we will see the code will uh, show on the display of microbit that uh, the height changed. So I, I didn't, I don't show you with microbit uh, how uh, I didn't prepare a specific video for it, but uh, I think it's quite a simple program. Like there are just two conditions and it's about the height. So if the height changes, then the screen shows particular image. So we will go straight to the most interesting program, how to measure the number of steps. So you can even compare with your smartwatch, the values, what they tell you, how many steps you did and with the, the micro bit, like uh, the, the program that you created. So it might be quite exciting and uh, I hope it will be very valuable. So uh, it's actually very important, like uh, they recommend the amount of physical activity uh, in steps. So it's between seven, thousand and uh ten thousand the newest um the, the newest uh, scientific approach actually told us that uh, seven thousand is enough um and uh it's important to keep track on uh, how much activity you do it's very important for the health and for your physical uh, physical activity um so i will help you to get these values and uh, to see your graphs to share with your friends so it should be quite exciting. So I prepared a video how to create a program to measure the number of steps that you make. I use the online platform uh, Vita Science to program online the code with blocks. So here it is, the video how, um, how I make. Um, so first I create a variable with steps and I add uh, that this variable uh, is equal equal to zero. Uh, then I take um, then I take uh, the condition that on shake. So if accelerometer register shake, then it means that most probably a person did the step. Uh, and we add one value to this um, variable. So it's uh, increasing by one. And then we add the pose. And uh, after some pose, we just make a pose because uh, th there are a lot of steps. So the it's hard for microbit to register. Like if you are, for example, walking really fast, like it's hard to register everything, but you can vary this parameter according to uh, what you notice, like according to what you need. Um, so it can be changed. Uh, I will show you now that um, more precisely the code. So uh, <laughs> I will finish um, my explanation here. So first we just um, tell the, the first line tells uh, MicroPython that we need to take everything that it needs to work with microbit. So we want to work with microbit. That's what we tell with the first line. Then we use, uh, we import the standard Python time module into the program. We want to work with the time. We will use some time modules. Then we add the variable. So we produce, a, uh, we introduce the variable with the name steps. 
uh, and we put the value zero. So the variable is equal to zero. And uh, then we start the cycle of repetition. So we add a loop to repeat the code mul multiple times from now on. So inside this code, it will repeat forever. And um, if accelerometer is registering a uh, shake, so if there is a shake, uh, the movement, that's the movement that accelerometer register from microbit. So like, boom, boom. So like, if there is a shake, when we, when we step, there is a shake that microbit register. And uh, that's what considered, that, that's what we actually consider to be a step. And if there is such register, uh, then we change our variable uh, to plus one. Uh, and uh, with each shake, the number will increase by one. Then we, uh, so we, after each one, uh, each addition, we add half second pulse just to separate the values, like uh, to get uh, as clear as possible the data. And uh, I also added the condition because, okay, we get uh, we get our data, but how we access it, how we see the sum of our steps. So like, for example, we uh, have a walk with the friends for one hour and uh, then we wanna know, okay, like uh, after one hour, how much did I, did I walk? And uh, to do this, I added condition. That's where we uh, use something new. Uh, we use a button. So here uh, on the on microbit, there are two buttons. Uh, so uh, there is um, the button A, the button B, and also actually uh, this is also a button for microbit version two, where there is a logo. But we will use uh, button A. So every time we click on button A, it will show, it will display. Uh, number of steps so it will show the value of this um, variable at precise moment when you press the button so if you continue walking and you're like okay i i counted in my head like uh, i think i count i made several more steps but at the moment when you press the button it shows the the value at this particular moment when you press not like uh when it's in the process of showing because um it's registering, but it's not. It's showing in the past, like at the moment when you press the button. So um, yes, and that's how it's working. I made the video for you uh, where I'm working. <laughs> so I use it uh, every day to see what, how much steps, uh, how many steps I make, and uh, it's very practical. You can just use uh, uh, these uh, the, the batteries to connect to the microbit. And uh, it can be um, anywhere with you. Uh, you can just uh, have uh, the battery and uh, um, get all the information about how you how you work. So I also prepared for you other interesting sites and programs. And as I live in France, um, I am very interested in, in e-health and uh, the different programs from French government about this. So I added some links about um, uh the the agency uh, in health uh so it's a government agency responsible for digital health so i i i saved the link so you can click on, on the inter interactive button and get access to this site so it just tells you about like what are the strategies of uh, uh french government for e-health what they're doing in which direction they're moving so uh this might be interesting for like for example for students and for researchers who want to have a grant from french government if you know what are the strategies of french government you can uh prepare a project which is close to what they're aiming to achieve and to suggest to them and to get a scholarship or grant, uh, this could be, this could work. And I also prepared a link um, to eHealth portal uh, for direct participation in exchange of data between patients and medical professionals. So you can actually find out more how it goes in France, um, how the patients get the data, how uh, doctors, they get the data to connect with them, to ask questions. Uh, so you can find out more what, are the, what is the medical project, how uh, medical process, how, how it's built in France and uh, to use this for your startup, for your project, or uh, even just to ask question and uh, to get some ideas. So I hope it was interesting. And um, during the next uh, webinar, I hope I will see you again. I hope you will be interested about my next videos.
I will continue telling about the microbit. Then I will tell about uh, about the Bluetooth and how to connect microbit with the phone. What is the battery and how to get uh, the values from C about CO two and why it's important. The real devices, what they are consist of, and I will also tell you how to make your own um, project, how to push it online and how to get a lot of views uh please um be welcome to continue following me and uh, i hope you will also find my hackster um projects interesting i have a lot of views there more than uh, thirty thousand, and uh, i hope you will be interested by uh by my activity uh wish you to have a very good day and till next time <laughs>